Gee, the cardia, August half fall to Roth, Golair, Higan Ocard, Special to Shot in You. We're delighted that you could join us here today in Leash, in the heart of the Midlands, for the launch of We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash Initiative. Hello, everyone. I am delighted to be launching We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash. As Minister for Public Health, Wellbeing, and the National Drug Strategy, I want to thank the organisers for giving me the opportunity to say a few words to you. It is particularly appropriate to be launching the initiative today at the start of National Breastfeeding Week, which is part of a national campaign, Every Breastfeed Makes a Difference. That is so true, and as a father of young children, it has been brought home to me to how important breastfeeding is for the health of both the mother and the baby. The National Maternity Strategy stresses that, in addition to practical supports for mothers, such as supports to continue breastfeeding on return to the workplace, a broader societal change is needed to promote a more positive culture around breastfeeding. This is needed to help women to feel confident about their choice to breastfeed. That is why initiatives such as We're Breastfeeding Friendly are so important, and it aims to encourage businesses, organisations and communities to become breastfeeding friendly by ensuring that breastfeeding is acceptable in all areas of the premises that are open to the public. This will make it easier for mothers to breastfeed while they're going about their daily business. The aim is also about broadening the focus from just the mother to make breastfeeding everyone's business. All mothers should be encouraged to breastfeed at any time and anywhere, and that is what initiatives like this are all about. It is a government priority and a program for government commitment to increase support for new mothers who are breastfeeding in order to promote an increase in breastfeeding rates. The HSC has also prioritised breastfeeding at national and local level through the implementation of Breastfeeding in a Healthy Ireland, the HSC's Breastfeeding Action Plan. The HSC's partners with key stakeholders to develop supports that mothers require at all stages of breastfeeding through social marketing, support and advocacy. The MyChild.ie website provides pregnant and new mothers and families with a range of information and supports about infant feeding. An Ask Our Expert online service provided by international board certified lactation consultants is available to answer mothers' questions and link them to supports in their local area. While the impact of COVID-19 crisis on the HSE has unavoidably affected the scale of the delivery of actions in recent times, this year has also seen some important positive developments in relation to breastfeeding. A new breastfeeding policy for staff working in the public health service came into effect in February, and this will support staff to continue to breastfeed and return to work following maternity leave. And in May, the government announced a revision of funding of 1.58 million to provide an additional 24 lactation consultants across hospital and community settings to implement the National Breastfeeding Action Plan and ensure timely and skilled assistance for mothers who wish to breastfeed. Recruitment of these positions will be commenced shortly and will have a strong focus on integration between maternity hospitals or units and the community, including voluntary breastfeeding support organisations. So this is a great time to be launching an initiative such as this, with the support of Healthy Ireland and I want to wish you every success. And I want to particularly want to encourage local businesses and organisations to sign up to the initiative and make Leash a breastfeeding friendly county for everyone. Thank you. You're very welcome to County Hall here in Port Leash. Councillor Conor Bergen here, Cahirlock of Leash County Council. I'm delighted to launch the We're Breastfeeding Friendly initiative here in Port Leash this morning. This initiative is all about our youngest citizens and their mothers, making them feel comfortable breastfeeding in public places, such as here in County Hall, around the town, GP surgeries, places like that, and to show that breastfeeding you know, is part of a natural and something that should be out in public more, something that people should be able to feel comfortable so it's making the mothers feel comfortable and people around them feel comfortable, an environment that's welcoming for all mothers and their youngest children. 
I'd just like to say I want to support this new initiative on behalf of Leach County Council and that the supervisor here in Rath Downey is, is, will be risk friendly uh, for, 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 for Leach here and certainly anything that Leach County Council can do to, to, to support young mothers is, is certainly worthwhile. Mothers play a huge part in, in, in our role in life and it's very important to us all so this initiative is worthwhile and I hope it will be supported by all. As the HSC's National Breastfeeding Coordinator, I want to congratulate all those involved in County Leash for their leadership in promoting breastfeeding and by implementing the We're Breastfeeding Friendly initiative. We know more mothers now than ever are trying breastfeeding and the HSC provides a number of supports through our midwifery, public health nursing and specialist lactation consultant services. Breastfeeding mothers can meet and support each other through breastfeeding groups run by Lalesh League, Quidju and Friends of Breastfeeding. Visit the HSC's mychild.ie website for contact details of all breastfeeding supports available in your county. Good morning everybody and you're very welcome here to Emo Courthouse and Parklands in County Leash. What a wonderful morning we're experiencing here with this beautiful sunshine. Again, just continuing in our launch of our We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash initiative. And I'm delighted to be joined by Ms. Cara Burns Sharma from Leash Tourism, one of the first agencies to, to sign up to this initiative and a very much an active partner here with Leash County Council. You're very welcome, Cara. Thanks, Emery. Cara, what, what was the um, significance of the decision to sign up for this initiative? Yeah. Leash Tourism feel it's a very important partnership. Leash is a very, very family friendly destination. And of course, um, breastfeeding mums and their babies are more than welcome here in Leash Anne Marie. Um, care is very much at the heart of what we do in the hospitality sector. And so extending that care and welcome to our smallest visitors is absolutely fundamental. So that's why we made the decision. Thank you very much, Cara. We are breastfeeding friendly leash. Hi, I'm Siobhan Harrigan, Health Promotion and Improvement Officer. HSC Health and Wellbeing are delighted to support the launch of We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash. Breastfeeding is important for the health and development of children and for the health of mothers too. Babies free feed frequently and on demand and mothers need and are entitled to breastfeed whenever and wherever their baby needs to be fed. We're Breastfeeding Friendly displays this to the wider community and offers a warm welcome to mothers and babies and families throughout the county of Leash. We're Breastfeeding Friendly. Hello, I'm Claire Fitzpatrick, Clinical Midwife Specialist in Lactation in Port Leash Hospital. We know that breastfeeding is so important for mothers and babies' health. It's the perfect food for babies, tailor-made to meet their growing needs, providing the perfect balance of nutrients. This is a brilliant campaign and we are wholeheartedly behind it here in Port Leash Hospital. I'm delighted to say that breastfeeding initiation rates are improving, now hitting 59%, which is extremely positive. There are lots of support groups in Leash, including here at the hospital and Lilesh League and Quidju, but this is an extra layer to encourage and support mothers and babies. And it also has the potential to make the experience around breastfeeding better for babies, mothers and babies. Good morning, ladies. Um, and you're all very welcome to the We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash Initiative. Here being hosted at the Sonnus Eco Garden Shop in Port Arlington. We're delighted they could facilitate us here this morning. And I understand your meeting is here um, and your first meeting you've, you've uh, had here this morning and I, I understand it was a very fruitful meeting to meet all the new mothers again and you start as you go, go into to the winter period now. What does the We Are Breastfeeding Friendly Leash initiative mean for you as a support group? Well, I suppose uh, the first thing to say, uh, you know, uh, about breast, breast, we're breastfeeding is that breastfeeding in public is protected by Irish law, uh, you know, anyway. But, I, and the, but the initiative is wonderful, and I know uh, some places will be involved and they will have the stickers and the booklets. Um, but to, for us, 
to be part of it is, is I, I was on, on the committee with Jenna and uh, another leader and it was lovely to be part of it. We, uh, we see it as a great networking opportunity where we can support each other in the community, where we can pass on information uh, and support and I think it's so important that we get you know the information they need, the right information that they need at the start, what's normal, you know, the support in the situation that they have realised, you know, that they might need a hand with, with just simple duties in their, in their home, helping them, you know, um, so in it's just in terms. practical terms, practical yeah, terms. Yeah. yeah, and so yeah. that's what this morning, this is our first meeting since uh, March 2020, yeah, March 2020, our first face-to-face -face meeting and we talked about that's what we were talking about this morning yeah. how you know so yeah it's lovely to be part of the initiative it is lovely it's, Thank a, it's a great idea to have the initiative because i think like bridge said like we're leaders with the late you league port leash and uh, we normally meet in tronua but obviously since mid-March we've been on Zoom, thanks to Fiona, one of our co-leaders who set it up for us and we've been having three meetings a month since March 2020. Um, and like Breed said, um, mums are often encouraged to breastfeed but then it's really important they get sound information about what's normal. That babies do cluster feed, they feed very very frequently to build up your milk supply and that is so important to know that's normal because sometimes mums can feel um, there's something wrong but there's nothing wrong. So that would be our biggest thing to help mums who make a choice to breastfeed to um, know what's normal. And the cluster feeding and feeding frequently is very very normal for mums. Normalise. Yeah, normalise normalise what's normal. Yeah. That's the whole point of the initiative, to normalise the culture yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it going forward. Thank you, Shirley. Yeah. Thank you. And also, Fiona, what's in breast milk is very important. People sometimes don't know. Yeah, and I think people these days are more aware um, of how important it is, you know, to be building up your immunity and um, your health and the health of your baby and how um, breast milk, um, you know, can does take what's in the air any any viruses and builds immunity against those and i think that's uh, on people's minds a lot more these days and um to know that the information is there la leche league are here to support you in your breastfeeding journey so uh, when you're pregnant if you're interested in breastfeeding and thinking it might be for you that's the time to get in touch uh, to touch base with one of the leaders to come to a, a zoom meeting or in person you know as well and i think it's really great that um, all through the pandemic, um, we've been here and we're still here uh, on our phones, um, WhatsApp, you know, video calls and now in person again. So it's really, yeah, it's just to know that the support is there. We're here, we're, we're trained, we just had a recent uh, uh, training weekend, like it's constant, it's all the, the new information and the relevant information to mums. Uh, when you're pregnant, when you um, are, have your new baby and at any time that you're welcome and they were more than happy to take your call, your text, and to then maybe meet you in person as well at a, at a meetup. So, yeah. And I think the video yeah. calls, we offer one-to-one -one video calls with mums, and I think that's made a huge difference because we haven't been able to do home visits, and we're a volunteer group anyway, so it only fits in with our family lives, but we haven't been able to do that during this COVID time of a year and a half. And um, I think to be offering a one-to-one -one video call with a trained, accredited the Leche League leader, we're accredited with the Leche League International, and I think that makes a huge difference. For the quality assurance, Shirley. Yeah, quality absolutely. Assurance. And I think the idea of being breastfeeding friendly is it's a lovely topic and anybody who's seen the video that came up from Limerick and now yeah. be the, the, there is the video um, for the Leech League for, for Port Leash baby friendly or breastfeeding friendly. I think it's a wonderful initiative. Thank you very much ladies um, and thank you for supporting us here. We're breastfeeding, We're breastfeeding friendly. friendly. Pass <laughs> on sound information to the mums who choose to breastfeed. And the support and is there. to mother support. Mother yes, to mother yes. Good support. old womanly art of breastfeeding. Hello and welcome to O'Moore Park here in Port Leash for the launch of the We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash Initiative. As we all know, the GAA is at the heart of the community 
and it is only fitting that they are embracing and supporting this Healthy Ireland initiative here today. Why is it important for the Leash GAA to support this initiative here today? Well, I think it's very important that we get involved in this initiative and that we're fully inclusive within the stadium and we welcome everyone on board and in particular we're delighted to have all the mothers in the stadium and to be free and easy. Uh, I'm, I'm delighted that uh, Leona Conroy, our chairperson of our Health and Wellbeing Committee, is here with us and Leona is one of the organisers and Leona, you got involved in this, so what do you think? I'm just absolutely uh, delighted as chairperson of the Health and Wellbeing Committee for Leash JA to uh, fully support this fantastic initiative and to support and encourage all our mothers um, in breastfeeding and that our door is open here in Omore Park and hopefully plenty of other uh, clubs around the county. Leash JA is breastfeeding friendly. Good afternoon everyone and you're very welcome here to St Peter and Paul's Church here in Port Leash for the continuation of the launch for the We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash Initiative. I'm delighted to be welcome here Father David in the parish. Dave, Father David, can I ask, why was it important for the, the parish here and indeed the adjoining parish centre to support this initiative here today? Well, I think as a church and as a parish that we are very welcoming of all people and that we'd love to support these initiatives, especially local initiatives here in Leash. And again, just to, everyone feels that sense of welcome to come and to worship freely, to come to the parish centre and use the facilities freely, and just to always feel welcome, no matter mother, father, whoever you are, but to always feel welcome. Thank you very much, David. Thank you. Hi, Bucky. Thank you Hello. for joining us today in the parish centre to launch the We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash Initiative. We are delighted Leash African Support Group have signed up to the initiative, and we'd love to know what this initiative means to the Leash African Support Group and your community. Thank you for having us. It's very important to us as a community, um, as a, an African community, breastfeeding, we are fully supported with the leash and we welcome every mother to join in in the breastfeeding of, of their child. Fully supported. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Good afternoon everyone and you're very welcome here to the parish centre here in Port Leash continuing our launch of the We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Jo from Jimbury Play and Music Midlands, who has a business in here in the parish centre. Um, and if I can ask you, Jo, why was it important to you to sign up to this initiative and support this initiative? Thanks, Emery. Um, I'm absolutely delighted to support this initiative, uh, both from a mother's perspective, as I was an extended breastfeeding mother myself, and also from a business perspective. I run two Gymbury Play and Music classes here in the Parish Centre, one of which is for babies. And I'm delighted to say that we've got lots of breastfeeding mums in our classes, in which I encourage mums to breastfeed throughout our classes. Thank you very much, Jo, for your participation today. Thanks, Emery. Super Value is breastfeeding friendly. Good morning everyone and you're very welcome here to Breslin Super Value here in Rathdowney, continuing our launch of the We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash Initiative. And I'm delighted to be joined by the proprietor, Connell Breslin, here this morning. You're very welcome, Connell. Thank you very much. Connell, why is it important uh, for Super Value to, to support this initiative here this morning? As everyone knows, uh, Super Values Ethos is all about customer care and inclusivity. And we're particularly proud to be a part of this Healthy Ireland breastfeeding friendly initiative here in Super Value Red Downey. Thank you very much, Conal, for joining us this morning. Thank you. Hello, my name is Erica Kelly, and I'm the manager of Trianua Resource Centre situated in Harpers Lane, Port Leash. We have many training rooms that we rent out for various activities and one of them is actually breastfeeding with Lilesh. And we have many areas in the centre that is breastfeeding friendly, including our cafe downstairs. So everybody is more than welcome into Trianua and we will be here for you. And I'm Joan Bulger, as I said, from Port Leash Family Resource Centre. We provide family support for all families living in the wider Port Leash area. We're funded by TUSA and we have lots of other funding uh, that comes in for us to run things such as parent and toddler group, um, parenting programs, etc. 
we're breastfeeding friendly and we'll encourage any mums who wish to come along who are breastfeeding that they know that they're more than welcome within the whole centre. Sarah, thank you for joining us today as we launch We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash. And I'd just like to ask you, just on behalf of your community, what does an initiative like that, like We're Breastfeeding Friendly, mean to you? Um, Julie, I'm very um, happy and blessed that you were able to join us here this morning at our mosque here in Port Leash. And as a Muslim lady living in Leash, um, breastfeeding for our community as Muslim women is very important. About 99% of our ladies breastfeed, Julie. And the reason they breastfeed is because we believe in God and one God. And in the Quran, which is our holy testimony, the book that God had given to all the world, he has recommended, and the verse of God is that men or women should breastfeed their children for up to two years if they can. If they can't breastfeed, there's no compulsion and there's no harm or blame put on the mother, but it's the most recommended thing from God to a newborn baby, that it should be breastfed for two years. And God has told us this in the Holy Quran. So most of the Muslim ladies in Port Leash and all of our ladies that come here to the mosque, they would breastfeed and they would breastfeed comfortably and confidently knowing that they're doing it because it's part of their faith and that they're giving the best to their children. So we have a lot of experience here and we really value it. If the lady cannot breastfeed Julie, then there's no blame in her, as I said. And the man is responsible for his child no matter what. So he has to feed his child, look after his child. But God is advising the ladies. This is the best thing for the first two years of the child's life to do. Thank you very much, Sarah. Sorry. Good morning, everyone. And we're delighted to welcome you all here to the launch of We're Best Feeding Friendly Leash. We were delighted to accept an invitation from, from the Islamic Centre of Ireland, Port Leash, here in Al Rahman House. And I'm joined here this morning by Amna and her baby Abraham. Thank you. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Who was a new mother um, five months ago, I, I believe. So we're delighted you could join us here this morning, Thank Amna. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Anna, why is this initiative so important to you as a new mother? Anne-Marie, for me as a mother, it's very important to breastfeed my children as it's very important for their growth and development in their early years. It, it saves them from, it protects them from a lot of illnesses and diseases. Um, and it's just that connection that you have with your baby. It's just, it's just amazing. And also in our religion, it's recommended to feed the baby for the first two years of their life. So I'm just trying to do that as well, you know. Um, That's wonderful. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, Amna. Thank you so Appreciate much for it. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Good morning, everyone, here to the Solace Centre here in Port Arlington. Um, a beautiful host venue that we were delighted to be um, invited to by uh, Georgina here in Solace. And Georgina, can I ask you, what does the We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash mean to you as a centre here? As well, an eco-friendly garden centre At here? Sullis, we are very passionate about caring for the environment. And um, as we know, breast milk is, uh, there's nothing more, more locally produced, more sustainable or more environmentally friendly than breastfeeding. So that's why we are delighted to, to be able to uh, promote breastfeeding and to support uh, local breastfeeding groups and uh, breastfeeding across Ireland. Thank you very much, Georgina. As a breastfeeding mother, I feel I'm doing the best for my little baby, Brian. As the cafe owner um, and team member, we want to do the best to make you feel comfortable and cosy in our home um, for you to breastfeed your child. Good morning, everybody, and you're all very welcome here to Dunamore Workhouse and Agricultural Museum here in County Leash, continuing our launch of the We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash Initiative. And I'm joined here by the Healthy Ireland Coordinator for County Leash, Julie Scully. Julie, you're very welcome here this morning. Julie, can I ask, um, what was the, how did this initiative originate from? And what was the, the thought process behind it? Okay, thank you, Anne-Marie. Um, well, Anne-Marie, back in um, 2018, Leash prepared the first Healthy Leash Plan 
and as part of that plan breastfeeding was put in as a, an initiative under it. So due to COVID and, and the recent delays, we, we're just at the point this year in, in launching it here in Leash. Now we have to give a big thank you to our colleagues in Healthy Limerick. They devised the We're Breastfeeding Friendly initiative originally and it was then adopted by the National Office. Um, so we're, we're basically taking that initiative and implementing it here in County Leash. And just also I'd like to say a, a, a very big thank you um, to the We're Breastfeeding Friendly Committee that have provided a lot of support over the last number of months in getting the initiative to the launch date here to date. While breastfeeding in public in Ireland has been protected by law for many years, we still have some of the lowest breastfeeding rates in the world at 35%. We also know that initiation rates in Port Leash Hospital are high and that the Baby Friendly Hospitals initiative is working in that respect. We do still have challenges though for mothers in breastfeeding having left, um, having left the hospital. Research also tells us that the majority of mothers wish they had breastfed for longer. There may be a sense that a non-breastfeeding mother can resume her normal life more quickly after the birth of her baby than a breastfeeding mother. The onus really is on society and on us here in Leash to ensure that breastfeeding mothers in the county feel that they can participate fully in, in society following the birth of their baby. We are asking businesses, voluntary community organisations to sign up to this initiative to support those breastfeeding mothers. Julie, as we're here today in this historical uh, building here that has done a more workhouse and agricultural museum, what is the history behind breastfeeding here in Ireland? Well, I'm really, while I'm no, no expert on the history of breastfeeding, there are a few things I can tell you. Um, firstly, up until the 1940s um, in Ireland, breastfeeding was the most prevalent um, method of, of feeding children. And that also, um, when it became internationally the, the norm to use formula, Ireland and the mothers in Ireland um, also took up the trend at the time. But I suppose really when there was a, 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 a sort of la large sea change around it was in the 1970s in Ireland. In 1973 the marriage bar was lifted, meaning that mothers um, who were married could return to work. So this liberation from, from home life um, also coincided with reduced rates in breastfeeding. Um, and I suppose when we think about it, that's almost 50 years ago. So those mothers are today's grandmothers um, and they didn't have a culture of breastfeeding, um, which we can now understand in that context. So we, we are trying to reverse the trend that has been there since 1973 now. And in Leash, we hope this initiative will contribute to that for the mothers of County Leash. Thank you very much, Julie, for joining us here this morning at Dunmore Workhouse and Agricultural Museum. You're very welcome, Henry. Welcome here.
We are breastfeeding friendly. We are breastfeeding friendly. Our hospital is breastfeeding friendly. We are breastfeeding friendly. We are breastfeeding friendly. Parish Centre welcome all breastfeeding mothers. Pishi is breastfeeding friendly. We are breastfeeding friendly Pish. Here at the Cozy Cafe in Mount Tras, we are breastfeeding friendly. We are breastfeeding friendly. Tamid e kahu kuja kardul leash. Thank you for joining us today for the launch of the We're Breastfeeding Friendly Leash Initiative. This initiative is funded under the Healthy Ireland programme. If you would like to find out more about the Healthy Ireland programme, or indeed other such initiatives that we have here in Leash, you can visit our Healthy Ireland page of our website, leash.ie. So from us all here in the Healthy Ireland team in Leash, continue to stay safe and well. Sloan agus banath yiv goleir. <laughs>